Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about communication symboling toolbox with experiment number 3. I am Lavanya Vaishnavi working as faculty in electronics and communication department. Today we are going to discuss regarding the QPSK transmitter and receiver uh, which is designed in the simulink toolbox. So this is a previous block diagram where uh, we designed the basic structure of uh, QPSK. The same diagram I am going to extend it and uh, see the variations in a different manner. So I am going to use a use the modulated signal as a real and imaginary part that is I am going to separate it into real part and imaginary part by using sine wave and cosine wave. So that I am going to compare with the demodulated QPSK signal. How the modulation and the demodulation are present. So that we are going to see in this structure. So this is the analysis what we can find. So this is the modulation signal where there is a phase shift. Wherever there is a phase shift, according to the phase shift, there is a change in the say demodulated signal. So that is what we are going to analyze here. So using MATLAB, I am going to construct using Simulink library. So here I am going to uh, take a new model. To the model, I am going to add all the blocks that are required and create the structure according to the design. Here is the structure of the QPSK modulation and demodulation. So to add and see the detailed uh, description how to add it, you can refer my previous videos. So let me go to the integer, uh, random integer. MRA, I'll take it as 4 with sample time 1. And QPSK, I'll keep the data as it is like pi by 4 gray integer. With the same properties, I'll go with the demodulation as well. And identity white goes in noise, I'll change this to signal to noise ratio with uh, uh, SNR equal to 10. Going to the sine wave. So this is where I need to concentrate. So in the sine wave, I'll take the amplitude as 1, bias as 0 and the frequency, I'll take it as 8 pi with sampling time 0 0.001. So the same thing for the cosine wave, I should retain all the parameters as it is except the phase. Phase, I have to change it to pi by 2 because we know that uh, sine wave and cosine wave are pi by 2 phase apart. Now you have product, addition and finally scope. So one more hint how to increase the input for scope in uh, MATLAB 14. So double click, go to settings and here number of access is 2. Change this to number of inputs you require. Suppose you need 4, you can add 4 here but I require only 2. 2 is sufficient. Okay and close. Now click on run. Before clicking on run, so normally the simulation time will be 10. Here I will change that to 5000 and click on run. So you can see the percentage of completion. Let it complete to 100%. Okay, once it is done, double click on scope and fit. So you can see wherever there is a phase shift, you can feel there is a change in the level of output signal. So this is how you can analyze the QPSK signal. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can write me back to my mail ID or you can comment the queries below. Please like the video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.